everyone. We are back on Hack on Precipice. This is the Earth map for SRL. This is the third video that I will have done for the SRL series. Um, and of course, this is all live. We're still live. This is not a, uh, a uh, commentary of a thing that I've already done. I'm talking to you as I'm racing. Sparrow Once again, race. if you like Whoa. SRL a lot, and you want to play ended. after the, the Guardian event has ended, SRL will be available in private matches to all Guardians. It just won't be available in public matches. I don't think the Hive are here because they left Sparrow. After the Guardian event has ended on January 3rd. I believe it was the 3rd. Someone told me it was third. I, I have a feeling it's probably second. But, um, we'll just say third. For consistency. Because I wasn't entirely sure it was second anyway. So. Um, Hack on Precipice is my second favorite map out of all of the maps, particularly because it's a birth map. And because it has a lot of twists and turns. It means there's a lot of things that you can screw up to win. Or a lot of things you can screw up in order to not win, and a lot of ways for people to get ahead of you and, and take the race. Particularly the very long left-hand turn near the end of the race that has the forklift on it. A lot of people hit that forklift, and it really screws people over really hard. <laughs> this turn right here, that forklift really screws up people, and um, I, I, happen to, I happen to find that hilarious. But, um, there are a lot of ways that you can screw up on Hack on Precipice, and, which also makes it really, really awesome if you don't screw Second up a single time, and you get running. everything right, it, it, it feels really rewarding. Um, that also goes for Shredding Sands, but I just like Shredding Sands more because of the, the sphere of the track, but, um, Hack on Precipice is definitely my second favorite of the map. Um, another thing I like about Hack on God damn it. Another thing I, I like about Hackon is that it's a lot of twists. It's all twists and turns. Like, there's a lot more, like, elevation and there's a lot more identity to Hackon Precipice than most of the other maps. Um, I think, that, in my opinion, the only thing that comes close is Shining Sands. Shining Sands has its own identity in the fact that Fancy there are a lot of You're parts, in the lead. but it's not identity in the fact Get that going. it has a lot you of land win this. that goes up and down, left and right, things like that. Hack and Preston has a lot of identity and character. You realize being in first means so, more things that's what I like about Hack and Precipice more than all the other tracks, is Catch it has up. a lot of character and identity. That's nice. Um, yeah, so if you want to Final lap. leave comments or something, tell me. God damn it, I hate it when people push me. It's so fucking obsession. Um, if you want to leave comments or something saying what your favorite map is and why, go ahead. I'd be interested in hearing that like, conversation about the map and why when people like certain maps and the other ones. Um, it's like having a discussion about your favorite maps in a uh, regular PDB. It's like that, only more fun because it's about racing. Right now I'm looking to try and take this first place. Um, it's been a relatively close race the entire time, which I like about Hackon is that it usually always is a relatively close race. Sometimes I can screw up that turn really badly and I end up losing the race because of it. It's really bad. This guy will probably win. Because he's so far ahead. There's no way that I can catch up. Yeah, there's not really any way that I can catch up. So. He wins the race fair and square. Um, it was a relatively close race. And that's the race. And then right we after have a the winner. finish line, if you don't know, there is a hidden little 
launcher. It's not actually here, it's invisible, but it's still a launcher. It launches you out into the middle of nowhere. It's just like in Shining Sands. It launches you out into the middle of nowhere, and then you die, and then you can just come back. Um, so yeah, I got second place. I got second place fair and square. It wasn't like, like a really dumb race where like I got screwed at the end. No, it wasn't like that. It was a fair and square race. Hey, I got an exotic. Sweet. GG's to all who participated in that race. GG's to all. Let's see what kind of loot I get. Hopefully I get something cool, like a helmet or something. A helmet would be nice. Helmets are hard to come by. Yeah, I didn't get anything. This guy got a sugary shell though. That's nice. Anyways guys. I'll see you on the last one, which the last one that we need is Infinite D Descent on Venus. I'll see you guys there.